Does the thought of tearing during childbirth have you absolutely terrified about a vaginal delivery? Don't worry, there is good news. There has been studies that have been done that have found there's actually ways to decrease the chances of tearing or needing episiotomies during labor. And you're in luck. Today, I want to share those tips with you. My name is Nicole. I'm a physical therapist and a mama. And today, I am going to tackle perineal massage. So, first things first, what the heck's a perineum? If you have that question and you don't want to go to Dr. Google to figure it out, I'm going to tell you. Really simple, it is the area of skin from your anus up to your vaginal opening. That right there is your perineum and that's what we want to prevent from tearing if possible and definitely an episiotomy if at all possible. So now that we know what a perineum is, let's get to it. Exactly when do you need to do perineal massage? Well, the study that was done in 2014 actually found that women who did this perineal massage from weeks 36 up until delivery had less risk of episiotomies, especially if it was their first delivery. If you're like, well, shoot, I'm a seasoned mom. What's this video have to do with me? Good news for you too. Women that practice perineal massage from 36 weeks to delivery actually had less postpartum pelvic pain in uh, the three months following delivery. So bonus, whether you're a rookie or a seasoned mom, this tip could be helpful for you. So let's get down to the dirty details about what exactly a perineal massage is and how to do it. What you want to do is take one to two fingers, depending on the size of your vaginal opening. You want this to be comfortable. It shouldn't be super uncomfortable. Um, you want to make sure you have nice, clean hands. Um, we don't want germs in any opening of our body, so clean hands. And then if you have a lubricant that you use, you want to put that on your fingers and on the vaginal opening to make things smooth and um, discharge changes with hormones and all that during birth. So you want to make sure the area is well lubricated. If you don't have a lubricant that you typically use, I'm going to go ahead and put a few in the description that I have used in the past or would recommend using. Um, so feel free to check those out if that interests you. So you're going to take those lubricated fingers, one or two, like I said, and you're going to insert them about one to two inches into the vaginal opening. From there, you're going to just bring a slight downward pressure and you're just going to hold there for two minutes. You're then going to rotate fingers and hold to the side for another two minutes and then the other way, another two minutes. Really, the only thing tricky about this whole thing is trying to get your arms to reach where they need to reach when you're at 36, 40 weeks pregnant, right? That's probably the most tricky thing. Think about different positions, laying in bed, standing, maybe sitting on the toilet. These might offer some good options, you know, from front, behind, whatever's gonna help you get the best position. I've also heard and know that people do this with their, have their partners do this for them. So if that's something that you're comfortable with, you can always recruit your partner to help you out with this technique as well. So there you have it, nothing super crazy about this technique, pretty simple, and it just might help prevent tearing, which is a win, right? Uh, so thanks so much for joining me today. Uh, if you liked what you saw and you wanna see more of it, please subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell for notifications so that you know when new videos and new information is coming out. Give me a thumbs up if you like the information, a thumbs down if eh, didn't really find it interesting at all. And comment below if you have more questions or if you want to connect with me personally, I'd love to continue the chat. So thanks. See y'all next time. If you...